Hi everyone, this is Tracy Brown coming to you today to do horoscopes, a short horoscope for the planets that are lining up in the sky. There are five planets lining up in the sky and they're all lining up in their own houses. So I am picking five cards And this one will be for Aries. Let's see what the planetary alignments look like for you, Aries. So the first thing I want to tell you, Aries, is that the wheels are churning. So whatever you're starting to do, particularly if it's for your own business, particularly if you're emotional about it, please invest and enjoy the, I, the ideas that are coming to you. It might mean a little bit of a sacrifice, but make the sacrifice because regardless of the sacrifice, however extreme the sacrifice could be, it won't matter to you. You are still going to just enjoy what you're doing, all right? I get the Knight of Chalices, so that's the Knight of Cups. Again, there's something about being emotional, happy about the things that you are choosing to do right now. I want you to continue on with that feeling because yes, you are doing all the right things. Let's see if light matters. I feel like there's too much light. So let me see if I can get more light and will that drown out the light no okay oh i'm also getting an empress now for those of you that want to get pregnant this is a time to invest but i also want to say for those of you that are entering a new venture starting a new job finishing college joining a new group um be fierce about what you're venturing into if you notice, there is a shield, but on the shield seems to be a symbol of strength. Be fierce and enjoy the energy that's coming to you. Um, move forward with confidence. I think that what is that is what that is trying to tell me. Move, move forth with confidence. And the last card is Eight of Wands. This is such an interesting card because if all hope was lost, it's not lost. Do not believe that all hope is lost. This is a new beginning. And sometimes with new beginnings, old things need to die. So, pick your head up out the water and start anew, all right? Now, I've got these new cards that I'm using for the final outcome. Very eclectic, so I really have to dive into what it is that it's trying to tell me, but I could do it, so let's just take a look. Oh, this is a good card. This is the Hermit. And the symbols are eclectic, so I'm going to give you a moment to look at it. This is the Hermit, and I know exactly what this means. It, this means whatever you're doing, whatever you're beginning, if you don't want to drown, you don't say anything to anyone until it's completed. Now, you've done this before, Aries, so I'm not telling you something that you haven't already done. I'm looking at the cards myself right now. I'm not telling you something that you haven't already done but there's so much new growth around you. The reason why it's important to be a hermit is that you do have some bitter people around you. You have some people that don't want you to be so successful. They could love you, but they 
there's something about why do you get to have this also there is some mysterious galactic energy that's coming around you all right so embrace any new changes or mysterious solutions all right Aries, thank you so much.